Hello there everybody and Happy New Year's. I'm glad to uh, see you back for more fish action in 2023. Today we're just gonna celebrate the new year by playing some modern merfolk. Today we're actually gonna test out uh, one of the interesting cool uh, sideboard texts that came out of 20, uh, 2022, which was Orvar, the Orvar form against creativity. Um, when they cheat in the Archon, uh, this card is just amazing uh, because it lets uh, yeah, that's the ability that lets you discard this card, and then you can create a copy of it. And because they have the Archon as the only creature in play, this one then, um, yeah, and then you, the Archon effect of entering the battlefield and then sacking the creature, is what's gonna gonna get that creature out there. On that, it's a pretty straightforward list. I've been really liking having you know um, two strategies in the main deck um, instead of two silver items. I like that small change. Uh, other than that, what's that to say here? We will run a 3 3 split of salty and dismember. We have a sideboard where we have the extra dismember and extra salty, so we can adjust a bit. We have all the force negations. Halfling is really good in the right matchups. Herb of Recall is good in the right matchups. So I think this is pretty nice. Let's just uh, take it for a spin. So we are here for round one. One leak, and we get a. Uh, uh, greetings from David de Bridges says Happy New Year from Spain. Greetings from Spain. Ooh, this hand is close to being good. But what is it here? We are on the draw. Don't think we can keep this hand because of the mood wall here. It's actually kind of awkward. So let's mod again. Actually, a better hand. One one uh, land, any land, we can both cast Hexcatcher and Spring Seas. So I'll keep this one. Probably putting back the subtlety. I don't want to salty anything early here, but and we also have the uh, dark end. So this end is doable. But I hope everybody had a great New Year's. Um, there's a lot of fireworks going on in Denmark, of course, as it is. Oh, here comes the Goblin God. That's also fireworks from the opponent right off the bat. We have a dismember. Okay, that's interesting. Almost want, want me to now lead with the dismember instead of the dark hand. The dark hand is si so not an interesting player. Then I can get the goblin guide trigger. So I think I just want to lead to th use the dismember instead. So there's an attack here. So the trigger goes on the stack. This is where doing, and then we kill off the goblin guide. It's not an optimal play, but. Unfortunate for us, we didn't draw anything from the Goblin Guide triggers. Okay, nothing from him. Probably burn spells. They probably have burn spells. Anyway, we, we knew we didn't draw land there, so that's unfortunate. No, but as I was saying, uh, the New Year's was really relaxed. We didn't do much crazy stuff. We were just at home. With two small kids, you don't really want to do. Uh, it's not party all night style, but uh, it was it was cozy. Nice. He's just holding up his stuff here. Now he drew something. Pretty good. I don't want to take him off some big canyon. Then he can stack it to take it off. So maybe I just want to hold up hex catcher. Is that better? It brings me to think it is. Aggressive. We can sack the duck hand to come exactly what he's playing here. Skull crack. Yeah, probably want to do that. Take too much damage against the burn decks. Hopefully, they don't have a searing, searing blaze. They want this, the blaze to be searing. Oh, but without the trigger. Now we can actually sag it so we don't. I think actually that works. 
Yeah. So then we can actually sack, you know, so we don't take damage. Because he has two now, he can't pay the mana. So we don't take the damage. But it, of course it dies, but it's fine, but it's fine for us. Since his mana is so denied here, I think I actually want to try to see if I can take him up some mana. Uh, they have made double red spells and stuff like that. So if I do like this, maybe. Yeah. Seems pretty interesting line. Prince is not bad in this matchup because they have um, very few, very many cards that's double red or white red. Now we're taking them up white and taking them up double red. I like that. Swiss beer, yeah. Gets in for one. Now we can play the Sphere Doom. Spin is a problem for him. He can't really get that off the board. Unless you want to throw spells at it. We have one more, so we will happily take it. Mm, the skull cake this goes to the head. Now it's a 2 3, and I just pass the turn. Would be pretty nice to draw a land. So I don't think I want to attack with the Sveil Moon at this moment. I think it's better just to play out the Ether Vial and hold up Hex Catcher. It's tempting to attack, but right now we just want to hold on tight. Draw the land. So we need to be ready to counter something. Yeah, Dying Ball is a problem. Uh, so we are dead here actually, because we can sack both creatures. But then it can just attack us. So no no need to show him we had that. Damn. Okay, we don't like these members in this matchup here, but we do like Harbingers. Uh, we would all, we like Chalice on the Void for one. And then I'm actually not the biggest fan of Dark Hand, it's kind of in uh, interesting, but it's just a really bad blocker against all these creatures. And we like Force Negations, those are pretty good. And we can take out a lot of these, the Masters maybe, take those out. Uh, I think actually I rather want to take out, you know, Adders are not the that nice. I take out a couple of masters. Solaces are not amazing, but I'll keep three of them in anyways. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I want to remind you guys that I have. Um, it's going pretty well with the sub goal. Uh, I want to do a Mirfolk cyber guide when we hit a thousand subscribers. Right now we are on, I think it's 900 and, is it 936 or something? Which is awesome. Uh, 936. So we're only uh, 64 short. So if you subscribe to the channel, I will be doing a Mirfolk sideboard video guide when I reach a thousand subscribers. Let's do a uh, play here. Oh, what a bad hand. To the election, that's Mulligan. Okay. Just gonna keep this. Probably putting back Force Negation at this moment. Let's get it done. Mm, we'll say Merfolk here. Uh, 
uh, and knowing that they have, they have skull cracks, and maybe, then maybe the Tyrlis is not that amazing, but I want to play the Tyrlis anyways as fast as possible. One could be annoying for him. Maybe he doesn't care. And that's a lot of damage. So that's what's the rest. Twelve, thirteen here. Oof, that was a bad land to play, but anyways, we'll start by playing Svealu. He needs to sculpt with the Tialas to, to do something, that is pretty good. Tialas should be annoying. They have a lot of one. CMC spells and creatures. I have insta blocking here. Can't pay one more, so he's gonna lose his monster Swiss spear. No, no, he can, of course. Yeah, that's well played. But now he loses his path at least, but that's pretty nice play. Okay, it's okay. They are down to three cards. Now we can tap down with this trickster. Flash B when he attacks. So we are on seven, technically. Hard. Now we're on four. One burst time away from dying. Hmm. Might just have it here. Doesn't seem like it. So now we can't replay the monsters first. Maybe we should just then uh, done this in our own, own turn. Then there would we could have attacked two more. But we are really close to dying here. But maybe we can kill him really fast. This is nine points of damage, so he, he's, he's, he needs to kill us in two turns. But we are all in. We win next turn. We have nothing. 
Hmm. He probably has it here. The way that Chalice is uh, holding his cards in hand. Tight games against Burn. Straight straight out the knee here <laughs> against the Burn player. Oh, that's a problem. So if we attack with everything, he can block there and then shoot shoot us, and then we we can still play this way alone, and he goes to leave, you know nothing, but I think it's worth it. Oh wait, wait we played this first. Then he has to show his hand. Okay. So just jump. Dead to Boris John. This is actually the 2 HP I could have uh, gotten in earlier, but we're lucky. We could have attacked with Mudawalt one turn earlier. It's a tight game. I exalt even more on the draw, but um, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I think we just I think three is fine still. Yeah, this is this is. Oh, this is not a good hand. You know, it's kind of awkward. You play out the tight shaper, then you play the chalice, but the tight shaper can block nothing. And then we can play nothing more. I think, I think we need to wall again. And this is better. We keep this and put back uh, probably an item just. Now we have an either violent one at least, and then we can draw some good, good stuff. Where's the hex catchers when we need them? I didn't mulligan. Mm -hmm. That's the hit catcher. It's coming on top. Land here. Trickster. Okay, okay, that's at least a really nice card. Okay, he does have something. He know about the hex catcher, so he's concerned if you, if you burn here, but then we get to force. Yeah. Is that the one we're forcing? I don't think it is. We can't sit around doing spring sea stuff though. So we have to trickster and hopefully he doesn't have that much more. <laughs> we have Kyle in the chat say let's go. It's been a minute, but I'm here. Good to have you here, bro, and happy new years. We are tearing down this goblin guide. It will be a f it will be no guide for nobody. Rift Bolt entered. And Lightning Bolt on that one. Okay. 
That's weird. I'll take it. So here we have some options. Probably interesting. Uh, nice to have the Lord lenses out. Then we can flash in the hex catcher or the master with the ether vial. I think I want to be able to block, so I don't take too much damage from the goblin guy. So I probably play out the Lord and flash in the hex catcher. Is that even good? No, we play out the Lord and then we flash in the hex catcher to save it. It's actually not good, you can just shoot it now with the, the suspended rift bolt. I think I have to force now. It's fine. Let this happen. It, it, it absorbs the damage, so I don't I don't hate it. Another goblin guide, okay. Of the tides. I think I'll block one. Just doing the bleeding is good. And now our spreading seas one of these things, and then I can hop in here, the other one when it attacks. Okay. So we have both Harbinger and Hexcatcher. It looks, it's looking pretty decent. Kyle says he went 2 and 1 against Prowse and Domain, then lost with Smirkside. He's destroying that enchantment with Tear. In my turn? I think I'll let that happen. Could have hex catch it, but I don't want to take too much damage from the Garden Guide. I think I, I, think I need. We're also forced, so. When 2 1 against the pros, and then lost versus Smirk, so I added my local. He had all the heals and bolts of the game. Yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. That's just rough. Perfect. And now we can put in Harpinger. Bounce that one back to his hand. It's nice not to draw something other than the fire at it. Have any ears, Kyle? Nice that you are playing the paper magic. Okay, 
So we have the option of forcing something into a land. Just pop that one. Probably this is where we do it. Annoying to have to throw away the hex catcher and that for that, but I think it's worth it. This way, is a menace for him. And it will start drawing us cards soon. Uh, fortification. So I think I should take two points here, respecting him. Should have blocked, but we are nine. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Now I want to keep. Should have hit back hopping maybe this round, but I want to attack with Sphere so we can get some card advantage. Drawing force negation here, which is pretty nice. Now I want to attack with Sverdun to draw something. Mood of Alt. Yeah, I'm afraid we can't really play that. So play the Fire Alert. So now we can play force negation. I'm going to block with Harpinger. These Kevin's are awkward, man. Good for us. Yeah, let's draw land. Having our tides. Okay, we're blocking. We could actually crack the eyelet to draw the Harbinger and bounce that one. But I think this is fine. Want to hold up force negation? Where on that one? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Probably okay to play that, because now we can force negation without fire outleting, and then we can also sacrifice the fire outlet if we need to. We can still hopping her as well. Instant speed. Yes. Monster Swift Pier. Now we can crack this one. Okay, that's pretty good. Hmm. Let's just start by attacking. Ooh, nice. So I like this, but this has uh, so many signals, and it also does have that in, in our opponent's turn. I think it's better just to pass with mana up. Should probably not have played that one we did, but it's okay. Here I think maybe we could have just played the island and be able to both... Ooh, he drew that some big canyon, that's not good for him. He's probably also conserving... Uh, consider considering cracking it. So you play this one. Bounce 
Mountain Baker Monastery, Swift Spear. Yes. It's actually dead next turn. So I should probably gonna do something here. Okay. So first the ward trigger. It. Hang on. Now yeah, we force this one. It's 10 points of damage, it's not enough. It's kind of scary. I think I want to attack with Sphere Loon. Maybe the two other guys actually. Sphere Loon is good to attack with, it'll provide damage out of output. He's on so few HP. So it's, it's pretty nice. We also have the option of untapping with Minamo, of course. That's a pretty nice line. So we don't want to play the either while here. We can untap with Minamo and play Hexcatcher. Having three blockers and also having the ability to sack a lot of creatures. And he's pretty dead next turn. So I think we're turning this around. He has one card in hand. He can maybe find another bowl, but then he has to go out all out and play all his cards. Boom! We managed to do it. We managed to do it. That's really nice. And we'll be right back for a second round here. 2 1 against Burn. That's sweet. Hello and welcome back for round two here. We managed to do um, do away with Burn in the first round. That was great. Maneuvering the Burn matchups is uh, one of my favorite things to do. This hand is absolutely fine. We'll keep it. Um, but I'm really interested in this new year, 2023, what will be what will be the, the takeaway when it comes to You know which cards and which things are best to do, um, and also, you know how do we build the Murphy deck? I think it's it's looking more and more tight, tight. Um, what are you doing here? Might as well just play the island. I want to save my cavern because maybe, maybe he'll hold up counter magic the next turn. This, ooh, oh, I thought it was uh, spell pierce. Uh, this is probably. Um, Probably uh, Magtide, right? But Mervog has been doing great. We are in tier one, in the bottom of tier one, but we are in tier one. But again, I think there is something we need to be aware of that now people are, you know, looking more into the deck. And that's something to consider. That since uh, people know the deck more, maybe. Ragavan. Yeah, we have this member against Bragman, that's fine. Probably will play out Minam at this point. I think it's fine to save my folk here.
could have waited for him to untap, but then he can, can counterspell it, and we had no chance of interacting with that counterspell. And getting hit by Ragaman is not my favorite thing in the world. So I think it's better just to do it in at sorcery speed. And we had the subtlety here, which is nice against uh, Murktide. Which is passing. Let's counter magic up. I like it. What are we drawing? An island. It's yeah. fine. Okay, so they're not running Fury main deck, so I think we just want to run out of the Slayer Loon. Um, what can kill it here? I think actually Unholy Heat can kill it. Artifact, creature, plant. No, that's not good. But Unholy can, he cannot kill it. Because I have six point of damage. Better to wait a turn and hold up a lot of dances of Elena in his end step. That might be. Is that crazy? He doesn't. He does. Uh, he has to have the unholy heat here. It's just one mana kill off this fair doom, which is horrible. So then I just want to pass. We're not in a hurry. Shredder. It's nothing, so he's stacked. So now we can now we can beat him in here. Put down the Lord and the Hexcatcher. I'm really considering just back putting this up so we can cheat in Sphere Loon at some point. Is that better? Probably not yet. Ooh, great draw. So now we can play out the subtlety, but we can also attack for six. This one has Iron Wall, so that's pretty easy. Or a five, I mean five, five points of damage. Now we have subtlety up. Holding that one. Sure. And here is where we're gonna, yeah, you can connive first. Now we play this one. This is pretty great. He topped it. Okay. I want to keep this in two still. We can put in Minamo, attack for three. And then put in Sweden here. I should probably just put it in earlier. Oof, maybe, wanna, maybe we should have not attacked with the Moodle Ball, then we could have had indestructibility. That was actually pretty bad. It's way too fast. So you can just. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was my bad. Big mistake here. Um, what we should have done, what we should have done, it's easy to say now, is that we should have waited with the uh, Moodle Ball attack. Then we just could have activated it and make it indestructibility. That was me being too fast. Now you can, 
Okay, yeah, he can attack with this one. Probably should. Let's just draw another Merfolk Lord here. That's actually a really bad play, but. Now we say elemental for this one. Okay, okay, okay. I did have some champagne yesterday. That's tradition. I need to champagne. So he could have probably, probably just killed the Lord Valencia first and then. And now we're pretty far behind. Been drawing a couple of lands. Too many, I would say. Don't know what we can draw. It's a start. We have to go for it here. If he has a removal spell, he can shoot the Lord and block the Moodle Vault. Interesting he didn't do that because I was gonna attack next turn. He could, he could have done that last last game. Then uh, so, you know ambush the Moodle Vault with the Lesser Shredder. Okay, so he doesn't have a spot removal spell, that's interesting. What is his hand? Maybe he wanted to save the spell removal spell for the salty so he can go for lethal. Maybe that's his line. We have to jump here. Yeah, okay, that's why. It's a good play. I'll let him come now. He needs to find the ability. This is where Kira would be great. Okay. And light bolt. This is. Okay. They have a lot, a lot of, lot of one drops. So we want to get in the chalices, and then we want to take out the Richard and Dark Hands. Um. The dismembers are good. I also like the Harbingers a lot. Uh, the Solitys are not amazing actually. They're kind of disappointing because you know you Solity the Murktide, but it's going to come back. I actually want to take these out. Then you can consider it's kind of a grindy matcher, so I like the edits, but I don't like the spreading seas. Cut those. I don't know, probably want to just put the other one. One Solity. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. I've been liking, um, earlier I liked uh, Salty a lot against, uh, against Murktide, but I actually don't really think it's worth it. You know, I was like, ah, oh, you know, Salty and Murktide are so great, but you're actually giving yourself a 2 for 1. You're giving him a 2 for 1, and then you can just replay it because he's, he's deck is so efficient. This is, on the other hand, a really nice hand. We can play out the Tide on 1, then we can go into the Chalice on 2, so we say keep. Look at this, this tight shipper is gonna do a lot of damage. I do like our matchup against Murktide, and I think if I played it correctly with the Sphere Loon, I think we would have won it if I didn't go for the aggressive play here. Okay, so look at this. This tells the Void is gonna go a long way. That's an interesting line, but I don't wanna do it. Folk here. This is gonna annoy him. 
one of the things I really like about Chalice in this deck is the interaction with Dismember. Dismember being, you know, one mana for us and then four life, yeah, but it's technically a three CMC card, which means that you can cast it even though the Dismember is in play. Legis Rare is the most dangerous thing against the Chalice because they'll just grow so much anyways. Okay. I think I still want to save the Hex Catcher. Doesn't really matter about the damage, I think I want to see if I can get a cheeky counter in here. What is this now? Petty Theft, suspected on that one, so we definitely want to counter that. Let's just play it down. What are we sacking? Maybe just a Tide Saber? This is really great also because now the Brazen Bower doesn't come back. I'm not really that nervous about the Dragon Race Channeler. I'm much more worried about the Space Reiteration. I want to counter that one. Should have done this a long time ago. Whatever. I'm gonna do it now. Now it's gonna get too big. That's actually pretty bad. I should just kill it a little bit earlier. Anyway. Some value out of that one. Okay. Sverum will be an amazing draw. This is also fine. We can gen then we can double hex catcher. Let's just say we don't need all the blue sources, so we'll say elemental. It's gonna freak him out. <laughs> Would you play your Murktide into this board? I would never. Mm. This is the thing I'm going to save one. Probably for the better. Nudging him down for one. A bit too many lands, I would say. I mean, he's not liking his spot either. Six cards in hand, he's not playing any of them. What? Look at that. Look at that. That's right there is why the Chiodos on one is amazing. That's crazy. Just one, amazing. And now what we do is that we side them out on the on the draw. <laughs> and look at that! Oh my god, snatching him down. Uh, I like it. So it's a bit more on the draw. Maybe we just I'm just gonna do the same. Maybe we cut one chess, one salty. Weird, but I do it. Um, 
Ooh, this is a bad hand. Let's mulligan this. Okay, this is actually pretty nice. Let's keep this and probably just throw back. Keep this and probably just throw back the Svea Luna, the Trickster. We got an interaction, so let's hope. No, oh, wait a minute. The trickster is pretty good. Let's see if we want to throw back the Svea Luna. No Ragavan, both of war. Uh. We have to dismember. I'm just gonna dismember it. We should have put back the Ether Bar then. <sighs> this is what's gonna happen. Now we can never play the Ether Bar. So it's more than to five. Unless we wait a turn, actually. <laughs> I'm glad, Kyle, that you enjoy my hair. He is holding up Counterspell, is he not? Tap out for Legend Trader. Look what we can do now. We got the Tialis in, and we can play the Tialis for one now. I'm so scared. I wish I had one more mana or a pile on two here. What if we can Petty Theft that one and then go off? No, Petty Theft thing is not bad. Then we get it back. That's okay. That's okay. Kyle says he, he Kyle says that he goes bananas when he sees my hair. So thank you. Destroy all artifacts with mana. Three of this. That's pretty good. That's where the hex catcher would have been amazing. This is where we tap down the ledge and upkeep. Carl says he's been using Richard and thanks to your list as well. Yeah, I really like uh, Richard and Duck and actually. Things work works really great at the moment. There's many decks where, where I can uh, interact favorably. What's going on over there? I'm playing Hex Catcher, that's for sure. They went to attack here. Should have waited to I play, till I played the Lord of Atlantis. This is a pretty nice tick, the Brotherhood's End. We did a 1 1. Look at that, it can, it can kill off all the creatures. So I'm not hitting it here. Richardan, Dark Hand. In 2023, we're getting used to saying that. Oh, bubble. Couldn't counter it even if I wanted to. I played a cube that used the original bubble. That was Ursus bubble. Ah, you're lying. Son of a gun. Two damage. Does he have it here? Creature. Land. Sorcery. Instant. Artifact. Yeah. So it takes six points of damage, otherwise I would have put made to put in the 
to do him. So, yeah, he has land creatures, two. And sorcery, that's three. Then instant, he actually has five. He's lagging his hand. Maybe we should not play this out, actually. Check the tricks alone, even though he has some way of killing off that one. It's gonna take the damage. Think we wanna save it here? Do we do we really re mind? I think we need all the damage we can we can get. No! Drew a lane, that was probably not what he wanted to draw. Where's the Murktides? Are they going down Murktide? Come on. Damn, that's a bad draw. I don't like our chances here. He could have so many things, but we're attacking. And we kind of have to run this out. This is because... Um, we need to be able to be uncounterable. He's on six. Where's all the wood about? We're playing four more walls. Okay, playing with general. Let's draw another tricks then. That'd be amazing. One card. One card. He has a block. Soon. What are we drawing? He's considering to attack here with the Legislator. Mm, that would be kind of aggressive. This is too tight, this game. It's in six. So here I think I just want to pass because he has to attack and then I can flash in the tight shaper and attack with two. So let's do that. Daniel's channel right now is kind of awkward for him. Because it's not a good blocker. It has to attack this turn. So I don't want to trade off with the trickster. Hmm. Getting the tight shaper in from the either vial is a trick. So here comes the Dragon's channel, it attacks. So we put in the touch shield from the other This is exciting! Come on! Boom! One drop. <laughs> Look at him go. But now I have a vial that's up and running. So we should probably go for the win. There's also the conservative line of, you know, blocking the Dragon's channel with the tricks the next turn, but it's just not relevant at this moment. So I think I just want to go for the line of winning right here. He needs exactly another Brothers War for this to go sour. And that's not even enough.
Okay, so he has to he has to trade. Oh my god, that either wild has been great here. So he has to trade with the tight here by the trickster. Then he goes to two with one blocker. I can't block the hex catcher, that's a good thing about being him being on six. So, two lethal attackers and a hex catcher, which could also could be lethal if we draw one more lord. And yes, Brothers War, then we are clearing the entire board. Come on! I'm excited about this one. Is he just sitting on nothing? We all in here. I have no cards in hand. I'm just like, do we have it? Do we have anything, bro? You need to attack with that Dragonless Channel. I'm glad I ignored that. Mm hmm. Goes to one. So now the Hex Catcher is is lethal. Now the Milk Tide maybe comes in. No Lichus Shredder. Okay. Oh, that's smart, that's smart. That is smart. Okay, he's dead to a lord. We have many of them in the deck. Good play by him here. Pretty nice, it's a pretty nice draw. I can flash that in at end step. I'll probably do that. Maybe he draw a counter spell, that would be good for him. But I think the upside of having the having up if something happens is, is better. What is this now? Because maybe he burns the hex catcher at that. If he kills the hex catcher, and then maybe feels he could he could attack with one ledge shredder. Okay, so Ragavan. Okay. Oh my god. That's crazy. We do. Look at the action. Look at all the action. Okay. Two close two ones. So I'm undefeated in 2023, and I think I will leave you with this. That was a fun little uh, stream here in the New Year's, and I'll be doing a lot more. So, uh, Thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and also i want to give a shout out to card hoarder which are where i get my cards from so thanks for watching guys have a great one